Hey guys, Race Harold here at Mod RV. Uh, today, what we're going to do, it's a little after 2. I know we said we're going to do it at 2, but it's 2.30. We're going to do a complete walk around on the brand new Unity RL that's taking the RV market by storm. I'll tell you all the features, benefits. Hi there. Yeah. So if you want to come with me, we'll do a quick walk around. We'll do the outside first, then we'll go on inside. Here we've got the generator, so it's a 3.2, or sorry, 3.6 Onan on propane. We can only do the propane on the RL for the reason of the electronics inside, and it, it has to have the auto gen start. The diesel generator does not have the auto gen start. All the compartments are soft closed, so everything closes very softly. The storage there, place for your sewer hose is already in there as well. water tank. We use the Truma Aquaco Plus. So this is in here. Super easy, super efficient. It's trouble free. It is a great, great little piece. Um, you have this, leave the switch on, control it from the inside, and it takes two minutes to heat the water up. Here's our shore power cord. So 30 amp service. Plug in your shore cord on any 30 amp service and away you go pipe for the generator so the generator is away from the bed area where a lot of RVs have the generator actually located underneath the bed by doing that when you run the generator at night you land up listening to the generator running all night we're here it's away from you we have our utility center utility center we've got our winterization lever here we've got cable TV hookup a portable satellite hookup over here your outside shower your city water fill and city water hookup and fill. We have a water pump switch out here as well, your propane switch, black water tank flush, and propane fill. Your dump valves, this one here has the macerator option. So you have the macerator pump. You can the macerator pump is an option so you can order with or without. Here's this beautiful window. From the inside you can look out while you're sitting on the sofa you can you can look out the pets really love it if you have a dog or a cat they can sit over there and they can watch it from there. They really love it. Five thousand pound trailer hitch. Full oh, five thousand pounds, four hundred on the tongue. We have a seven, seven page connector underneath here for your for your if you're towing a vehicle or anything like that. Whether you're putting a bike rack on there with additional lights or anything like that, so you've got all of it here. On this side. We have the big storage. So ample storage. I have the outside table option here. And we set it on the side. I'll demonstrate the table. It's pretty, pretty simple, uh, easy to operate, uh, and it gives you a great use of storage space. Just have to get the glass open. There we go. Cable hooks on there. Drop the legs down. That quick we have our outside table all set up. So we come around a little further here. We've got our 110 outlet out here. So if you're doing a, a smoker, a small uh, tailgate or smoker, you got to have it set up here, plug it in here, you can do that, or anything else you want to plug in there. Storage over here as well as your 2000 watt inverter, which is standard. We have our AGM batteries in here, they're two 6 volt AGMs. Go on inside. Alrighty, we're inside here now. So we have the Mercedes dash there, which shows everything. You can see the GPS is up right now. It's showing where we're located. Uh, we've got all the safety features on the Mercedes. You have the frontal impact. You have uh, the active cruise control. Everything is there. The radio is like a Siri. You just say Mercedes to it and she'll talk to you. What do you want to do? Simple as that. She'll talk to you anytime. 
And up in here we have all of our storages. Here we can control our TV. Front the two TVs. So we've got the two TV, we got a front one and a rear one, we control it there. This one's got the satellite dish in it as well. And all the storage in there. Everything again, soft flows. This one has the, the safe in it as well, so that's an option to have the safe. Uh, you program your own code into the safe. More storage again. Utility center here for your four point leveling. So this one's got the option for the four point leveling. Over here also you've got your hot water tank. So again, when we were showing outside before with the hot water tank switch, with the switch being on, I can control it from here. Here we have our two burner cooktop, electronic ignition, on that, um, our blinds, so we have our day shades, just our, our sun block out, and then we have the full block out for nighttime. Okay, the sink close up stores deeply in a little compartment right there, so you can have it in there or up in here. A couple of places here to hang things, your tea towels, whichever. We have your trash container in here, also access to your, your water pump. Uh, hot water tank is all accessible through there. Here we have our slide out pantry that we're known for. So you can store a lot of things inside your pantry. Refrigerator is super cool, fridge and freezer. So I can open it this way or I can open it this way. So it's a two way, either on the refrigerator or on the freezer. So either one will work both ways. Here we have the restroom. It's a macerator toilet. It's a porcelain toilet. The mirror on the right that folds across to close up that window there as well. We have the shower in here. The nice part with this is we can close this door off and give us two separate living areas. So with the shower here as well, when you're done showering, you can drop this down, hang your towels over here for them to dry. And the nice part is, especially in the Texas heat, the sun's gonna come through the skylight and it's gonna dry your towels off very nicely. The light comes on in here as well for it. Shower curtain is a roll up one. It's got a little squeegee inside there, which is really nice because it actually cleans the water off of the shower curtain when you roll it back up. wardrobe your wardrobe closet in there and we have all of our drawers nice drawers they're all soft clothes so nice bank of drawers there we have our seating back here the recliner part the footrests come up on the chairs for the recline so then we want to get into making it into a bed very simple process We'll remove these cushions here, put them down there. This one will either store up front or we'll leave it back here. For this demonstration, we'll just leave it back here. This tall one here normally also would store up front. Then to make it into the bed, we pull this up, lock it in. And voila, we have a bed. So you have a nice bed here. You can leave your comforter on here. Um, this strap is here to hold your comforter in place. It's a residential mattress. It's not just a piece of foam. It actually is a residential type mattress. So it's a very comfortable, very comfortable bed. Close it back up. We just unlock it here and we'll put it back up. Put that back down. Cushions go back into place. And that quick, we're back from, from a sofa to a bed back to a sofa again all done very quickly we have a tv here 20 inch 28 inch tv with a sound bar wine rack in there we have the two windows here the unique thing there is the window this one we developed to be a, a pet window pet, pet a pet friendly window so that's a nice part there so what i can do is when i'm going to bed at night i'll just take this curtain and i'll just snap it across here I can block the window off. So 
So again, then I can pull my curtains down, whether I want my sunblocker, whether I want my night. Cushion here to make the front into a bed. And then we have storage here where we can store our table when we're not using it, which we have set up up front right now. Alrighty.